Now, the title of this episode could be directed at a number of characters because we're going through a lot of individual issues and a lot of individual obstacles for these characters, so they can get narrow-minded tunnel vision very easily. But I'm curious who this is about. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 11, like I said, called Narrow Minded. I did want to let you guys know that I did just wake up. I've been recording in the mornings a lot more, so I'm super tired, so it only takes me like five five minutes to wake up and get truly back into it usually the opening does that for me i just want to let you know in case i seem a little groggy for these first couple of minutes that's how it might be for the foreseeable future i just need to i should need to, i didn't need to do like a morning jog or something a little a little jujutsu exercise to wake up you know something like that but last episode we had Mahito being investigated by Nanami while they're doing that. That's a whole thing going on. And then we have Ijichi and Yuji who is investigating Junpei. And Junpei and Yuji are about to go have a little conversation. Very curious where that's going to go. And then Mahito, is, he's a very formidable opponent against Nanami. And, but it's now almost 6 o'clock. So Nanami's about to go into overtime. So I have no idea what that means. But I am just so excited, so I say we watch this episode. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Haikyuu, and many, many more to come, we are four episodes ahead on that Patreon. Links are in the description, like always. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so, so so much uh jujutsu kaisen episode 11 narrow-minded let's do this i'm going into overtime now Ooh, i am excited here we go he's just flowing with cursed energy makes a lot of sense i don't want to pause it so early but i called it out this is very similar to me and then in the first episode a lot of people have let me know that the mangeka for this i don't know the name i'm trying to learn more mangeka names uh, was very inspired by Nen and by Hunter Hunter in certain aspects of this, and I love that. I I think Nen, in my opinion, is the best power system in any anime. So I am so excited to just get deeper into this. I love the packs, the vows, the restrictions, the every all the rules. I love it all. I I'm so down to learn more about his power. That's so awesome. Yeah, which makes it more powerful, right? It's like a pact within itself. If you explain it, they know, which gives them the upper hands, but yours more powerful. Ratio technique collapse? Oh my god. Yeah, finally, you have to do so He already created your leg. Oh. Nanami is something else. Are you serious? I was not expecting that in the first fight. What? Right, back into the episode. Narrow minded. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sewers below them. That's so funny. He's just gonna ask him. Okay. Yuji's such a good dude. No pressure, just a genuine conversation. You know, just a genuine guy. What were you watching at the theater, man? Earthworm 3? I'm sure, I'm sure Yuji's seen it, man. We just went on a mo movie binge the other day. Yeah, see, the movie binge. Oh, I told you, it's so hilarious. Look at them having a good old conversation about movies. We know Junpei loves his movies. Oh, Ghetto. Oh, no. I love movies, personally. For certain reasons. Heck yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. He's like, when's the last... I, he's, he's not doing this for any sort of ulterior motive. There's no agenda. He literally just... Junpei's mom. 
kind of hot. He is hungry. Typical anime main character. I used to, you'll eat anything. Say say less. I'm so curious to know more about Geto. Mahito is able to change his body in any way he wants because of his idol transfiguration. Yep. Okay. He's got some experimentation done. Good observation. Greedily enjoying his own growth. I could totally see that. Which we didn't see a domain expansion here. Okay, so he, Mahito hasn't hit that spot yet. Oh. Wowzers. Yeah. Very serious and detailed observation from Nanami. Easily one of my favorite characters since he's been introduced, Nanami is. So serious, so adult-like, strict by the book, but has a heart of gold. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Oh, I haven't seen Castaway. I want to watch it with Tom Hanks, right? There's so many movie references in this fucking... In this fucking show. The dad is blocked off. Ooh, that was great framing on that shot right there. Let's us know so much without saying a single thing about it. I see. Like what? I want to know so much more about Yuji's parents so much. Even Gramps was going to say something about them before he passed. Ooh. <laughs> Get into the philosophical morality, you know. He's asking what he seems to be a somewhat good person. Junpei is such an interesting character to me, especially with what he said about his mom and how he was at the movie theater and how he is with the bullies. He's the type of guy who obviously has an opinion, obviously is a normal human being when it comes to thinking certain ways and stuff like that. But he's just the very... I don't want to say he's an introvert because he obviously wants to make friends and he's outgoing. He's just shyer than your average person. And no one really pays him the attention he's kind of due. So when he was talking to the lady at the movie theater, she was just kind of... It took a couple of times to for her to like kick in and fucking do something. When it comes to mom, like he, he really is like, I wish you would stop smoking. And she... It's somewhat of a compromise. I'll stop doing it in front of you, but it's not even like a, oh, you know, like, like it's like his, like no one's ever worried about what Junpei is thinking. And it, and like, it, I don't mean to ever put it in like into politicizing an actual real world, but like there are people that are just like him who, because they are unable to express those emotions, kind of like mob psycho, they get bottled up so much until they literally explode and snap usually it has to do with anger and frustration but it can be depression it could be a lot of things it's like like just having someone who's having an open dialogue and willing to just he's an open book pretty much and just having a conversation with like yuji like he's genuinely asking you know because he's had his own little mental thoughts in, inside of him like would it be wrong to kill people should i do this it, like he is in a moral gray area so he asked mahito mahito said fuck it you, you when you're hungry you eat when you want to kill someone you kill them you know it's just like very rudimentary very childish whereas yuji is gonna get a lot deeper right here and I, I appreciate that at least junpei is asking multiple perspectives like he still does not know himself he's so questioning his very existence the value of a life would definitely become ambiguous you know see so deep it's very crazy Oh, 
drunk mom fell asleep at the table. Man, you gotta be drunk drunk to fall asleep at the table. I swear to God, if Junpei's mother dies, I'm gonna be so unbelievably pissed. I swear to God, my man does not need anything else to go bad in his life. あるだけの保冷剤と氷の上に敷き詰められていた。<笑> Bro, this is like Jesus Christ. Probably Mahito put it there. Oh, what did he just say? I mean, cursed users who earn money by cursing people? I doubt that, but he's getting. Hmm. Is that the bully who was beating our ass in the fucking... What is that outside? Anyone see that out the window? A big blue portal? Why is this episode just fucking blowing me away? It's an unannounced and a... Oh. Yes, okay, yes. The wind, yes. Oh my god, we're gonna bait in some sorcerers. Oh my god, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what I was thinking was going on. I didn't want to pause it because I still was thinking they were going to outlay the plan for us and let us know. But I would assume with Junpei talking to Yuji, Mahito didn't know that because he was dealing with Nanami. But Geto was walking by and said, bingo. So I think at that point, they have this, they've, they've had a plan, at least Mahito for a little bit, to set up Junpei as this being this unknown f i don't know what their plans are with him but it's something horrible and i hate it i still think and this goes back to them using sakuna's fingers to test the curse womb spirit i still think it was mahito and ghetto who put it in their house and killed junpei's that is so horrible i actually hate saying that jesus christ but and now they're just telling him what he wants, not what not even what he wants to hear. They're just giving him an alternative in 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 terms of who it could be, and if they're gonna force him to hate Jujutsu sorcerers or Yuji specifically to clash against Sakuna's vessel. So curious where that goes. But is I'm so I'll just keep watching. I, I just don't know what's going on with the guy at the school, Ito Shota. I he I'm pretty sure that's the guy who because they made an emphasis on him last episode of the episode before who was in the class like in the when we were doing our movie pro, our movie club movie club and he was like leave the room put a hand on our shoulders and then beat our ass when our homies left i'm pretty sure it's the same dude which they said he said if you have money connections you can it's like a, a curse hitman you can hire like i don't know すぐに板取り友人が取り込んでしまったからね。お、おい、どうしたお前ら。しっかりしろ。大丈夫か。死にはしないよ。よし。よし。聞きたいことがある。<笑> 
Yeah, he doesn't know anything about the curse. Oh. What is Junpei's power? What can he... I hate seeing Junpei like this. I really won't lie. Yeah, this is not the site you wanted to walk into being Yuji. Oh, with the jellyfish, just like the opening? Oh my god. This is the most depressing episode, I swear. Well, that was a fantastic but heartbreaking episode. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Junpei. Um, in terms of the plan... I, I did end up rewatching like some of the that whole later scene, like when they when Mahito and Geto started doing the whole veil over the school. So they're going to use obviously Junpei's broken heart and his emotions towards and his feelings towards people to make Yuji, especially because with the veil, it makes it so no one can leave. Some people can enter only if they have weak cursed energy, which the weakest obviously is going to be Yuji. He's the one who's currently in charge of investigating or at least watching over Junpei. So with him coming in here, they're going to come to a head in which Junpei is way stronger than Yuji at this point. So Yuji is going to be forced to make a pact with Sukuna, I think was what they said their plan is going to be. So once he creates a vow or a pact and Sukuna will have a lot more power and a lot more rights and, and be able to do a lot more. Just giving him dominance, making him the more, the, making him the, the actual vessel, you know, like forcing him to come to the surface. So I'm, I don't know what's going to happen next episode. I know it's coming to a head. I didn't really write anything down this episode except because I was just so into it the entire time, except that Nanami retreated and said, if we see each other one day, like, let's go at it again. Like, I'm so, I was so not confused, but I was so just bewildered by that. I was like, okay, because normally a lot of characters like Nanami are put in these situations where if they keep fighting they will die but they also can't risk running away because then you know they'll so they end up like a lot of characters in Nanami situation would have died like there's main there are anime characters who die a lot of the times in those kind of situations I can think of a good amount right now but Nanami tactically retreated I loved his powers I love how he explained that the seven to three ratio he can do on anything whether it be your arm whether it be your whole body whether it be an airplane whether it be an apple and then he explained his powers obviously so it became even stronger and then he just like i forget what the name of it was but he punched the wall so hard that the falling rubble was still imbued with his curse energy and then right when mahito was about to dodge it he seven three'd his leg and so boom leg boom it's like nanami oh he's kind of nasty i thoroughly enjoy watching him fight with his blue like teal ish curse energy aura fucking amazing super enjoyed it um I feel so bad for Junpei, right? And this happened with his mom right after he had such a nice conversation with Yuji. Like, like he's like, I can't kill anyone. If it does this, if it taints my soul, I can't do this. So I just feel so bad. I feel so bad. I am going to hop in this next episode, though, because I cannot wait to find out what happens. I hope my boy Yuji can save my boy from damnation because it seems like that's where we're going. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, I appreciate you. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead. I'll catch you guys in this next episode. Thank you so much. Peace out, you guys.